Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Black Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we went inside the Nacreen Museum, and more importantly, the Nacreen City Gym, facing off against the second gym leader of the game, Lenora. And we came out on top with no, ca no fatalities, no casualties, nothing. We came out on top, and all thanks to Shamrock and her partner, Umber. Those two did an excellent job. And in this episode, we're going to be going to the west of Nacreen City and heading towards Castalia City. But there's something we have to do, and that is help Berg and Lenora find Team Plasma because they stole the Dragon Skull last episode from the museum. So, like I said, I count Pinwheel Forest interior and exterior separate. It's up to you. This is the only area in any game, I think, that I do that in. So, ooh, do I want to fight it? Yeah, let's fight it. Okay, yeah, sure. Just don't be a soccer throw, please. Alright, guys, that Autono used uh, Double Slap a lot more than any Autono I have ever seen. I actually used up my Orenberry, which is so annoying. Heal me, nurse lady thing guy thing. What? She's a thing guy thing? No. No, she's just a regular nurse. <laughs> yeah, right. Not in a Chromo playthrough. Alright, yeah, but let's go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go on ahead. What? Let's go ahead and give an Orenberry to Sky because. Uh, let's give one to. Fine, let's give one to Midnight. I wasn't going to give Midnight anything. Mainly because, ooh, we got, yeah, no, forget it, we're good, we're fine. <laughs> Just proceed, here we are, in the pinwheel forest interior. Now the Team Plasma guys aren't here, and Berg's like, hey, there's two ways out of this forest. I'll take the straight road, because I'm a weakling. You take the long road, which has clearly got a lot of trainers, and definitely Team Plasma's not that way. No, I'm just gonna go this way and just stand here, while you do all the work. Great, let's do it. So we've got a double battle here. Um, I know they've got Sea Waddle, which is kind of scary, because my entire team's weak to bug, except for Aqua Pearl and Sky, but Sky can Air Cutter, which hits both targets, so let's just do that. All right, kids, what's up? What are you saying? One, one, two, wait, one, what? No, what? what? Never mind, I can't read toddler dialogue. Why do I call them toddlers? They're clearly school kids. Twins, Mayo and May. Huh, well then. I don't know where I was going with this. Yeah, they have two Sea Waddle, level 16. First double battle with Sky and Midnight. Really cool to see. Um, yeah, Air Cutter should down them both. And just in case it doesn't, I'll go ahead and assist. I'm not doing that. I don't trust myself. Right, let's just see if that one. Maybe we'll steal something. Oh, wait. That's why I didn't have an Orenberry on. This is a good point. Either way, that one on the left is guaranteed Dunzoed. The one on the right survived because... Oh, of course I'd crit the one on the left. But the one on the right survived because um, oh, when you use a move that hits both targets, it does less damage. So I'll just go ahead and quick attack to take it out of here. And we'll Thief, why not? I'm going to take the Ornberry off of Midnight. Um, I don't really need it for the Unburden. Uh, Midnight's going to outspeed everything in the game at this point. Because she has a plus speed nature and she's a Lypard. So it's pretty hard for me not to outspeed something. So we don't need to worry about Unburden. And I just like when I use Thief to potentially get an item, which is kind of cool. Uh, don't need to heal Sky. No reason to do it. Ooh, this one has a Sand Isle, if I recall. That's okay. Don't think they have any Ground-type attack. Well, Rock-type attacks. Yeah, I'm okay. Let's do it. Ah, you stubborn brat. When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Well, that's very true, because if you knocked out one of my Pokemon, then I would have to go train, meaning it would be like an hour before I could chase you guys. So that's a really good... Really good idea there, Grunt. But I don't think your Sand Isle is capable of doing the damage to me. Just saying. Let's go Sky. There's a reason I'm using Sky right now. It's because this battle is going to do some work for him. And you guys pretty much know what that is. So let's go ahead and Air Cutter. Assurance, not really a big deal. That still did a lot of damage. I'm, I'd be surprised how much that did if I hurt myself. It'd probably do quite a bit. But we're going to take it out one nice crit. We don't even have super luck. And you've been getting crits for days. Great work, Sky. All right, and with that, we are going to be getting the fourth evolution of the series. What? Sky is evolving. There we go. We have Sky the Tranquil. Awesome. Oh man, Tranquil's pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've used an Unpheasant line Pokemon. 
And I've never used a male before. Uh, the one I used was a female, so... It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check him out now. He's definitely stronger, that's for sure. Uh, still some pretty pitiful special attack. Not the greatest. I know they're more physical attackers, so it's not that big of a deal that we have minus special attack. But that's going to weaken Air Cutter pretty hard, and we're going to be needing that for the gym, probably. Not too sure what I'm going to do. Um, Midnight would have to be able to fight Dwebble, which is scary. So I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this. I might sand attack, make rock blast, mi well, it's going to use bug bite, that's right. I don't know. I'll come up with a strategy for Berg when we actually fight Berg. But in this case, let's just go ahead and put Aqua Pearl up front. Aqua Pearl and Moonstone haven't been used for a while. I hate when I do that. It's so annoying. Wait, yeah, Moonstone. Duh. I hate when I accidentally switch around like that. I'm missing um, Generation 6 where you can just drag the Pokemon around. That's nice. Okay, Um. yeah, we get an encounter here. I don't know why I put Aqua Pearl up front. That's not who I want to catch something with. Let's put... Everybody's weak to bug. Why? Or grass. I hate this. Fine. Umber, you can do this. Well, you knock Pokemon out. Whatever. Um, yeah, I can get an encounter here. There's only three things I can get. One of them is considerably rarer than the others, but I'd take any of them. I don't really want Seawaddle. Mainly because I've used one so many times. I love Levani. It's probably one of my favorite Unibo Pokemon. But I want to use a Cottony with Prankster. That'd be really cool. But whatever I get, it'd be fine. My encounter for the interior of the Pinwheel Forest is going to possibly be... Uh, let's grab this. Ooh, there's an Audino. We don't want to get that Audino, though, because it would be our encounter. All right. Possibly could be... A Cottony! Yeah! Awesome! A male Cottony. Well, we don't have another female Pokemon in reserve, which is kind of, kind of a problem. But maybe we'll get one in the Desert Resort or something. Well, the Desert Area. Route 4, I think it is. So... Do I rock smash? They're pretty bulky. I can... Wow, that's sketchy. Don't do it. Ooh, that means it has Prankster. Yes! Oh, that's so good. Don't knock it out. Ah, oh, yes! Okay, catch it. Catch it. It has Prankster, guys. Yes! There's no way this thing would outspeed me otherwise. Okay, let's go ahead and use an Ultra Ball. Just because I want to get it, it's boosting its stats. And if it gets too nasty, I'd have to book it. I don't want to lose a Cottony because of something like that. Yeah, there we go. We have a Cottony with Prankster. Yes. If you guys don't know, Prankster makes status moves go first. And, well, it have increased priority. And that's the only way this thing could have outsped Umber at this point. So, with that being said, I need to get a Crayola Crayon nickname for this Cottony. So, I'm going to go ahead and check my list. And I will be right back. Alright, guys. I found a really fitting nickname for this Pokemon. And then I found a really cool nickname for this Pokemon. So I decided on the really cool nickname, and that nickname for this cottony is going to be Fuzzy Wuzzy. So we have Fuzzy Wuzzy, the cottony. The fitting name that was pretty bland was Fern. So Fern would have been pretty fitting, but I think Fuzzy Wuzzy is really cool for a cottony. Definitely. Um, I don't know if we'll go back and check him out yet. Oh, let's put the dowsing machine on. Good idea. Awesome. So there's nothing even over there. But there is something right here, and it's going to be a big root, which is excellent. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and throw that on um, Shamrock really quick. Um, I don't have Mega Drain quite yet, but it does work for Leech Seeds. So I'm going to go... Uh, in, it does in Generation 6. I'm pretty sure it does in this game too. But I'm going to go ahead and put that on Shamrock. That'll be really nice. And Shamrock wasn't holding something anyway, so just really good idea overall. Okay, now... I know. Menu again. I know, it's so annoying. Whatever. And every time I go into the menu, I have to edit. So, let's put Aqua Pearl up front for the Sand Isle that I'm pretty sure this guy has. And we might be able to evolve Aqua Pearl this episode as well. Um, I'm waiting to evolve Aqua Pearl until... We're actually able to evolve everybody this episode. I could evolve Aqua Pearl and Moonstone if I wanted to. Because uh, we get a Moonstone after we clear this area. But I'm not going to use it yet, obviously. I want to save up for some moves. But... Um, at level 22, Aqua Pearl learns Scald, which is what I want to wait to until I evolve Aqua Pearl. So, we'll be able to get that. And we get the Water Stone right afterwards, is what I'm getting at. So, everybody could technically be evolved this episode. It's really cool. We've got a really, really well-rounded out team. And I'm really starting to love everybody so far. It's definitely a good team. But I need to talk serious. <laughs> um, we had a really good fight against Lenora, but... Uh, a lot of people in the comments are pointing out that... Berg is a third gym leader. Fantina was the third gym leader. Berg is super effective against everybody on my team, except 
uh, umber, which is really scary. That's some twisted stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do, because I still don't think Umber can fight Lee Vanny. Uh, there's so little options, and it's very important that we make the right decision. It's really scary. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what this guy has. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. If he had a bug type, would it be bad? It would. So let's see. He probably has a sea waddle. What am I doing? <laughs> Guys, my life. Okay, let's see. I'll do this fight. Everybody's weak to bug. <laughs> Curse this. I can't even go through the pinwheel forest without being afraid. All right, you can fight me, right? Yeah, come at me, Brohan. Yeah, the um the rangers in this game are really cool because once you beat them, they give you a berry, which the berries can be really helpful in a lot of situations, kind of like the Chesto berry was. All right, Ranger Forest. He has a herd ear, so I guess it was a pretty good idea that we switched out. Aqua Pearl probably could have fought it. It's sketchy. Herd ear are powerful, like mad strong at this point in the game. This one doesn't have Intimidate, which is kind of cool, so I guess we can Rock Smash. Get the defense drop, then bite it to finish it off. Uh, I think somebody in the comments pointed out that Tackle does more damage than Bite by, like, 10. So I guess we'll Tackle. Shh. Ah, Rock Smash would have done more right there. Ah, it doesn't matter. It, actually, it wouldn't have. So, yeah, there we go. And Umber's going to go to level 21, which is pretty sweet. And we don't learn anything at 21. That's completely fine. The level limit's 23, so I'm going to need to be pretty careful. It surprised me that it was only 23. But, yeah, he gives us a Chesto Berry. We already had those, so we'll had two, so... Not the greatest thing in the whole world. And this is also the last game where you have to spray up a rappel every time manually. So you can kind of look forward to that after we finish this. But when we go to Fire Red and Leaf Green, we'll be right back to square one. But All right, let's throw up a potion. Yeah, let's just put a potion on Aqua Pearl. Uh, I know there's rangers in this uh, forest that have the monkeys. And you can also get the monkeys in this area. So if you wanted another monkey, you could. If you get an Audino somewhere else, you can... Uh, if you get an auto know somewhere else, you can get the Shaking Grass here, and you can get each of the monkeys or the fully evolved form of the version exclusive. Uh, I can get Cottony, so I can get Whimsicott here, and if and if you can get Petalil, you can get Lilligant, so it's kind of cool. You get it before you can get the stone. You can't get the stone for them until you reach Nimbasa, so it's quite a ways away. Uh, this is the other Pokemon that I could have gotten here. It's about 15% chance, so it was fairly rare. Uh, I wouldn't have minded Venipede. I love Scolipede as a Pokemon, like, a lot. But I really would have preferred Cottony with Prankster, which we were lucky enough to get. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, Seawaddle, like I said, I've used one several times. Like, every Wedlock or Nuzlocke I have done on Black and White or Black and White 2, I've used a Levani in some way. So, it's pretty overused in my eyes, and I've never gotten to use a Whimsicott before, so I'm super excited about that. Alright, Timber, what do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Ooh. Oh, don't do this to me. I should be able to one-shot it. I don't see it surviving this. Yeah, we're fine. I gotta keep in mind, bide, bide, bide. It's so, so devastating. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I can leave the Aqua Pearl again. Alright, just some random sea waddle. Uh, I remember when Black and White... For oh, this guy has a monkey. I don't remember uh, what one it is. But uh, it might be Panpore. I don't think Pansage is till last, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I was saying is a story time. I remember when Black and White first came out, I had a friend named Jonathan, um, who I played them with on the bus. He was quite a bit older than me. I was like, God, how old was I? Oh, it's Pansage, of course. How old was I when Black and White came out? 13. Yeah, I was 13 years old, and he must have been 17 at the time. But uh, we played black and white together on the bus every day, and I remember he came uh, on the bus and said he caught a shiny Swadloon in the Pinwheel Forest, which is super cool. I remember he showed it to me when I was leaving school one day when it evolved into Levani. It was so cool. I was so jealous because I had never gotten a shiny Pokemon at the time. Was it Swadloon? I know it was Swadloon, but it couldn't have been the Pinwheel Forest then. Ooh, we're getting... Oh, oh, this thing knows bite. Oh my god. Okay. Think about this. Don't derp. I'm gonna use a fresh water. If it uses bite, that could kill me from this stage. It was faking me out with Vine Whip. Not about to get faked out because I'm talking. 
Okay, it has Lick. It does not know Bite yet. Chroma, you just had a Pokemon. That's a monkey. Learn Bite. It's level 20. 19. It doesn't have Bite. It has Lick. We're fine. Calm down. Where would he have caught a Swadloon at? Oh, I don't remember. It, it was a Swadloon. I don't remember where it was at. It might have been black and white too. No, it was black and white. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It, it, it's story time. It does, it's great, great, great time for stories. Yeah, so he's going to give me a Chesto Berry. That's... Oh, boy. Here comes the picnickers of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I never could tell what gender. It's clearly a female, but I still derp sometimes. Okay, um, let's put Aqua Pearl Front. Still good? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and throw a potion on Moonstone, because if I do need to switch, then I need um, Moonstone to be full health. Moonstone has really low defense, so it's sketchy. Definitely a sketchy situation to be in. The housing machine again. There we go. Yeah, this one has a Panseer. I'm almost 100%. I'm pretty positive this one's a Panseer. Ah, oh, You know what? I bought these, so I would not have to do this. So, let's just spray a repel. Put our big boy panties... Put our big boy pants on. And let's proceed. Give me the Panseer. You're gonna fight me, lady. And you're gonna... You're gonna like it. Don't read her text. Okay! Um... Yeah, show me your pants here. Show me your moves, Irene. Panpour, why are you doing this? You make me look bad. I know things. I do. Whatever. I'm so done. Bite that thing, Aqua Pearl. You show it who's boss. Yeah, Flint Checks, Flint Checks, Flint Checks. You're so done, Zode, Panpour. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Water? Yeah, see ya, son. You didn't even get a chance to hit. You're weak. You know, excuse, Irene. You're a joke. Go join Wilton. He's east of Mahogany Town. I know I said I'd never mention his name again, but bullying him severely made him memorable. I wonder if high school bullies remember their victims, like, when they were, like, 40. Because, like, think about it. If you're going to talk to somebody all the time, whether you're being nice or not, you're going to remember their name. Yeah. Umber? I'm done. I apologize. All right, the Team Plasma Grunts tend to have Rock and Roll and Sand Isle at this point. So we should be okay to fight it with Aqua Pearl. I can't really see what he would have that would be bad. Patrat, you know, that's all right. I'll work up just in case it goes for Bide, because Aqua Pearl doesn't have the damage to take it out in two hits. And if we do hit it, then it's going to do so much damage to us with Bide, it might be able to kill us, so... It is going to go for Bide, so it's a good uh, good call, definitely. I'll go for Work Up again, and then hit it with Unleashed Energy. Well, after it uses Unleashed Energy. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you totally get it. What are you doing, storing energy? You don't even have any energy, Patrat. You're weak, because I have to hit you. And you know what? I'll do just that. You want to be hit, Patrat? Well, it's a little too late, because you're going to blast me with nothing. And I'm going to blast you with a lot of something. Eat that water, Patrat! Ugh! Super tasty. Oh, no, what's wrong with me? Okay, there's a lot wrong with me. I get it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're just here to buy time? Well, forget you, dude. Forget you. I don't need you to buy time. It costs a lot more money than you got, bro. Brosephine? Yeah, it's a girl. Yeah, Brosephine. All right. Um, yeah, this one has a pants here. No, this is not even a person. Clearly, I'm losing it. All right, you. All right, Paralyze Heal. I'll take that Paralyze Heal and raise you an Awakening. All right, yeah, this this girl. This is totally a girl. Totally. Yeah, give me the pants here. Give me the pants here, lady. I can't call nothing. It's a male. Yeah, disregard the picnicker line. It's they're totally distinguishable. Miguel. Wait, wasn't there a show that I liked? With a guy named Miguel. What was that girl's name? Miguel and... What was that show? Somebody's got to know what I'm talking about. Schmuck, hook me up. Every time I say, what was that? You're in the comments, like, right away, like... It was this! It was this! I'm like, yes! And it... Dude, what was that show? It was like... They were, like, Hispanic, I think. They, Miguel and... What was her name? It was a show. I hated that show. So bad. But my friend at school, Nathan, was all over that show. And I was just like, Nathan, that show is garbage. But I remember it. So it must have been okay. It was bad. No. Yes. All right. Yeah. 
yeah, I can utilize your Petcha Berry. What are you gonna do about it? Ooh, that's a good berry. That's a poison. Poison Heal Berry. Poison Cure Berry, as they used to be called. Uh, yeah. All right, let's grab that item. Repels Effect Wall. Well, you know what? I don't care. Because, I no, I don't have retaliate. Yeah, I can retaliate against your Repels Effect wearing off. Let's just spray that baby up and be able to proceed without running into anything. I'd normally play without Repels in case I get a shiny. Ooh, TM86 Grass Knot. Awesome. Very good TM. I don't think anybody on the team is going to benefit from it. Oh, would I? Um, let's go ahead and check out Shamrock's special attack and attack. If it's a higher special attacker, then I'll teach it. No, I'm not going to teach it. We're good. Who else could benefit from Grass Knot? Midnight might be able to learn Grass Knot, but I'm not even going to bother checking. I, You know what? Now I'm curious. You've piqued my interest. Can you learn Grass Knot Midnight? I don't think you can. If you can, I am props to me. But yeah, you can. I'm not going to teach it. I don't think that would do much damage to Dwebble, so I'm not going to even consider it right now. I, it might be good for Dwebble. I, it might do more damage than anything else I've got, but that's for then. Um, am I all healed up? We good? Yeah, we're fine. We're okay. All right, let's proceed. A pursuer, ha ah, ha! A kid like you beats some of us. That can't be helped. But I'll take you on now. Well, plasma guy, listen, plasma girl, whatever. Plasma thing. It's a dude. Of course it is. Plasma thing. Listen here. All of your other guys are garbage. They had higher level Pokemon than you. Your Patrat is nothing. You're, what you're gonna do is make a fatal mistake by using Bide. No, you're gonna detect that's that's arguably stupider. Because now I'm gonna work up. I'm gonna get myself all worked up, and then I'm gonna be like, eat my water gun. Because even if you use Bide right now, there's nothing that you can do. Okay, that's still that's devastation. That's not cool. I don't like it. Do over half. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Aqua Pearl. And another Patrat. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Use Bide? I'm already set up to one-shot all you Patrat friends. You know why? Because your first Patrat friend did that. What are you doing? You're silly. <sighs> you know, I understand. Double scumbag detect? Are you serious? You're gonna scubble, 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 scubble? Scumbag double protect me? You're gonna bide me now. <laughs> Watch out, guys. He's using blind! I don't care! You have a zero chance. What you're doing is getting Aqua Pearl all ready to destroy the Sand Isle. And once I hit level 22, you all better watch out. It's going to be scary news for you guys. I was just thinking about something. If Aqua Pearl was paired up with Sky instead, it would have been better off. Because we're probably going to lose a ton of Pokemon to Berg. And if Sky was paired up with Aqua Pearl, nobody would die. Think about it like that. Like, that's crazy. Like, if I just would have done it in a different order... I would have been better off, I guess you could say, against Berg. I'm so scared for Berg. It's going to be so scary. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm, the seven of the seven sages. I'm mortified that this skull, which we went so much th through so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the dragon skull. According to the results of our research, this is not of the legendary Pokemon from which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh, sweet! The bug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so I come and this is what I do, spy with my little eye. This important looking guy. Are you here to help all your friends whom I defeated so well? Yeah! Violet, the others didn't have anything. And you, who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Gets us, another one of the seven sages will liberate Pokemon with worlds alone. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against, against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Berg, and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time, we shall retreat quietly. Well, get on retreating. I don't care about your speech, dude. I don't care about it. I just do not care. They're a speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase them? Hmm, we got to act the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be hitting back, Lenora. 
Well, well now, I'll be waiting for your challenge at the Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed, I'm looking forward to it. I will slay your entire team. Oh, I fear him. Violet, you're holding the Dragon Skull. You worked so hard to get back, right? And yeah, here you go. Violet, thank you so much. What kind of trainer like, with a trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Use it carefully. I got this! I'm gonna use that Moonstone, totally. <laughs> As long as my Moonstone doesn't die. You're probably thinking, what are you talking about? It's, it's, it's complicated, Lenora. It's just a little bit. Just a little bit complicated. It's no big deal. Ooh, what's this? A Miracle Seed? Well, I don't know if that'd be better than... Ooh, Miracle Seed, Grass Knot, Dwebble. Would that be good? Like, I don't know. I don't think Dwebble's very heavy, but I think it might do more damage than a Physical Thief. That's tough. That's really tough. Like, it's gonna be a death match between... Midnight and Dwebble. I'm, I'm pretty scared about it, but we should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and sneak back to the Pokemon Center. And I'll fight these guys after Ooh, this guy turns, doesn't he? No, he's okay. He's he's cool. He's on my side. Um, um, uh, you're gonna snipe me, aren't you? No, you're cool. Uh, you're gonna snipe me. Yeah, you, you jerk. Why? I just want to go back to the Pokemon Center. Not even to the Pokemon Center. I just want to go to the nurse. Actually, the Pokemon Center. So we can check out our newly caught... Fuzzy Wuzzy, that sounds adorable. Yeah, Sammy has a Muna. Oh no. I thought the scientist had a Muna. This is not good. We're pretty weak. And it could blast us with Psybeam. I'm just gonna go for Bite. Hopefully we can make it flinch here. Yawn. We're fine. Of course. It, it wants to derp. Do whatever you want. I'm pretty happy with it because now I'm not gonna lose Aqua Pearl to a crit Psybeam. I'd be pretty mad. <laughs> I would be really steaming. Like, really steaming. Especially because it would have been one level off of actually steaming with Scald. Yeah? Yeah, I see what I did. Yeah, let's go heal up my Pokemon. On the way back to the Pokemon Center, there's a Super Potion right here, which is kind of cool. Alright, in the PC. Uh, we already checked out Sheen, but here is Fuzzy Wuzzy. Adamant! What? This just confirms it. I have zero luck. You giveth, prankster, and then you taketh away. Game, why must you giveth and then taketh? Why giveth and taketh? That's not nice. That's just rude. I quit. Alright, guys. Um, by the way, Fuzzy Wuzzy is a kind of brown, if anybody is curious. I normally um, say what kind of color the color is, just in case it's not obvious. And Fuzzy Wuzzy doesn't really speak for itself. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw Midnight up front. Midnight hasn't done much fighting this episode, and I'm pretty sure the Scientist has a Muna. Uh, I know the guy had a Muna, but I'm pretty sure the Scientist does too, so... Um, okay, I don't really know what this girl could have. Look, look, this is a gym badge from Striton City. Oh, you have it too! Yeah, but... Lady, you haven't even beaten Lenora yet, so you're probably not a threat. Oh, that rhymed. Ava! Ava has a Woobat. Well, oh, I'm so sorry to tell you this, Ava. But, I have myself in Midnight. Midnight is going to dumpster these Woobat. Like, holy crap. You're about to get dumpstered on. So bad. You think that was bad? Your other two Woobat are about to get destroyed. How do I know she has three Woobat? Well, after I saw the one Woobat, I kind of put two and two together. Well, actually, if you want to say... I kind of put three and three together, because she has three Woobat. Wait, that would make it six. I kind of put one and a half and one and a half together, and I was like, hey, she has three Woobat. And she turned out to have three Woobat, so hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, hey, that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and thief this thing. See you later, Woobat. Midnight, you are dumpstering these guys. All you got to do is dumpster a Dwebble, or you're pretty much dead. Uh, I love you, Midnight. You're probably my favorite teammate right now, but holy crap. You're in some deep trouble if you don't kill that, no, that kill, deep trouble if you don't kill that devil. What? Wait, deep trouble if you don't kill that dwebble. Say that five times fast. Holy crap! But yeah, that sounds like that's like rhymes and stuff. What are you? You don't even battle. I run every day. My goal: come marathon champion. But you're not even a triathlete. Your trainer class does not wait exist in this region. That's true. Carry on. Oh uh, <laughs> no, but seriously. Oh, what are you? What do you have to say? Ooh, she's a trainer! If I apply what I learned to battle, I think I can win! Well, good luck. <laughs> That's all I can say to you, school kid Millie. Wait, isn't that a movie? Wait, not school kid Millie. Clearly, 
clearly that's not a movie. But isn't there like Millie and Otis? Milo and Otis! That's a pug movie! I've got pugs! Yes! Ah, uh, P Dove, you're so dumpstered, son. You're gonna quick attack my life? Well, news flash for you, buddy-o. Not gonna work, because I'm gonna thief your P Dove. And then I'm gonna thief your P Dove again. And now you're probably thinking, oh no! Probably should have used quick attack. But you didn't. So, sorry. Purloin! Oh, uh, Sky can fight a Purloin. Nah, Midnight's the only one that's not level 21, so. Might as well just go ahead and use Midnight. Why not? Purloin versus Purloin. Let's assist just to be funny about it. What are you going to use? Give me something cool. Rock Smash? Vine Whip? What is this? My Lyperd has vines. Your Lyperd has nothing. You're useless. What, you know what else my, my, my Lyperd has? My Lyperd has Lucky Chance. Yeah? Y'all, oh, this is going to be a fun toy to play with. I like this. This is fun. It's a waste of time, but I like to do this. You know what my Lyperd has? That yours does not have? It can work itself up. And it's all like, watch out! I'm going to unleash my power! No, what am I? I'm... I put these videos on the internet. This has just come to me. You know what my library has? That yours doesn't have? <laughs> you know what my library has? That your yours doesn't have? What? What? No! No! You know what my library has? That yours doesn't have? What? Are you joking? Uh-uh. You know what my library has? That yours does not have? Why? What is with you and Moonstone set? I don't want to see it. I don't want Lucky Chance. I don't want a side beam. I don't want a hypnosis. You know what my library has that yours doesn't have? Leech seed. That's what it has. Yeah. No, but seriously, it's not even a hyper. You know what my library has that yours doesn't have? Evolution. That's what it's got. That was such a waste of time. I apologize. I hope that was at least like 5% entertainment. Hashtag percentage entertainment. Courtesy of Chroma. That's a big hashtag. Hashtag Millie is terrible. Yeah. Oh, man. This guy. I don't want to fight him. He's probably got rock and roll in shenanigans and things. And you know what I've... You know what my shenanigans and things has? That... What is wrong with me? Holy crap. Fight. You don't even fight. I'm not... No. I gotta get Aqua Pro level 22 so we can have some fun when we get to Castelia City. Does that sound like a good idea to everybody? It's probably not a good idea to do it here. That's pro wait, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Fight. Give me some shaking grass or something. This is what I this, I hate auto no training because this this is like a pain on your finger after a while. You're probably thinking that I'm just a wimp, but this is awful. And then you run into the grass like that and don't even get an auto no. Holy crap, it's level 17! That's terrifying! Holy crap! Alright guys, I had to use a healing item. That thing was hitting hard with double slap. 1,067 experience. Wow. That's crazy. And with that, Aqua Pearl grew to level 22 and wants to learn Scald. Very good attack. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Water Gun. Scald has 70. 80 power? Holy crap. I thought it was 70. Mind has been blown open. Wow. Scald is going to be really good. And you can burn with it. So good for Dwebble, but his partner isn't going to beat Lee Vanny. So, and neither is she. So, wait. She, her partner is never going to beat Lee Vanny. And never is he. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. I can't do things. I'm so bad at this game. And here we are. We are now at this bridge. And I'm not going to end the episode here. What I want to say, though, is you get a really awesome item right in here. I believe you get... 
what is it? Experience share? No, the quick claw. That's it. You get the experience share up ahead. Yeah, we get the quick claw. Oh god, the quick claw. Uh, if any of you aren't aware, uh, the quick claw has a curse. It's cursed, and um, if you use it on, if you have it, your Pokemon hold it in Maryland's playthrough, Pokemon tend to die that hold it. And you might be thinking that's just Maryland. <laughs> Any Pokemon in my playthroughs that have ever hold the Quick Claw, that have ever held the Quick Claw, most of them have died first, which is kind of scary. And I'm gonna give it to somebody. There's a slow Pokemon on our team, and her, his name is Moonstone, 15 speed. Everybody else is fairly quick, so we're gonna go ahead and give it to Moonstone. Um, it'll be useful at some point. It's just a really good passive item to give your Pokemon. It's not really cursed, but it's... That's scary, definitely. Um, especially considering my history with it. But, something else I want to say is, this is my favorite music track in the entire game. I think. Now, I don't know if turning this music up is going to get, get copyrighted or not. I hope not. That'd be unfortunate. But this is one of my favorite music tracks of all time in Pokemon. So, I'm going to let you listen for a second. What? They let this in the game? The way the bridge curves right here? Oh, I thought she said I like it. Never mind. What? I'm sorry. But yeah. I love the Sky Arrow Bridge. If I said Drift Bell Drawbridge, I think I said Drift Bell Drawbridge. I don't know what I was talking about. But yeah. Sky Arrow Bridge is incredible. Glitch uh, X City has a remix of it. It's so good. I prefer the original. But I love this track. It's so gorgeous. It's just mind-blowing. I love it so much. The scenery, like, for back in 2011, this was so cool to see. I love it. I don't even care how long it is. Like, yeah. Uh, I don't even care how long the bridge is. I love hatching eggs on here back in the day. It just is so great. I enjoy this so much. This is such a great track. All right, and here we are. We are in Castalia City. As of right now. And yeah, this is the biggest city in the game by far. It takes a lot of time to go through this entire city, and we'll explore the entire city in the next episode. But before we finish off the episode, there is a guy on the other port, I think, that if you talk to him, he will ask you what monkey you got. And you can tell him any answer that you'd like. And he will give you the corresponding stone for that said Pokemon. If you say Panpour, he'll give you a Water Stone. If you, oh, this is if you give, if you say Pansier, he'll give you a Fire Stone. If you say Pansage, he'll give you a um, Leaf Stone. But I always liked this guy. This confused me so much as a kid. Stick your thumbs up and curl in your fingers. This is a thumbs up pose. That means okay. And when I was when I was younger, I I like would I'd make a fist, thinking that's what he meant. And I'd be like, "Why? how is this a thumbs up pose? It's like some gang sign. And I'd have a fist. Like, I wouldn't have a thumbs up. I'd have, like, a f fist shape. And I thought that I'd go to school and say, this is a thumbs up pose. I, I, I didn't get it. Like, you might think, oh, that's just something stupid a kid did. I didn't get this until, like, a year ago. Call me dumb, but I don't know why. I just, he was gangster looking. I thought it was maybe, like, a gang pose thing. I didn't. I, I didn't think they'd put something so simple like, oh yeah, it's a thumbs up pose. No, duh! <laughs> but yeah, if we talk to him, he'll be like, Pan Sage, Pan Seer, Pan Poor. They evolve with special stones. Which one do you want to evolve? And we want to evolve Pan Poor. Yes, we do. And he will give you a water stone. Now, I don't know exactly what moves Pan Poor levels up. Well, learns by level up. But I'm going to evolve it now. I'm not even going to bother looking it up. I know that it has Scald now, and that's all that really matters. So... With that being said, we're about to have the fifth evolution of the series. What? Aqua Pearl is evolving. And with that, we have Aqua Pearl the Semipore, my favorite of the three. 
S fun fact about me, Simipore used to be my least favorite of the monkeys. I thought it looked so stupid. I hated Simipore so bad. But I used the Simipore in a regular playthrough that I fell in love with so bad. Her name was Katara. Yes, it was an Avatar reference. And I loved it so much. It was such a good playthrough and I loved it. So that's what makes Simipore my favorite. I used a uh, Simi Seer in a uh, in the Nuzlocke that I did on this game. The first ever Nuzlocke I ever did. And he made it to the very end, just like Cardinal, but it still wasn't enough to out, out, um, outplay Katara. Katara was awesome. And I hope Aqua Pearl can do the same. So, um, we've got a lot of stuff to do the next episode. I don't think we'll be fighting Berg next episode. I'm not too sure. Um, we have to explore all of Castalia City, which could take a long time. It's a lot of battles, there's a lot of people to talk to, a lot of items to get. And there's a lot of things in general to do. And um, there is one thing that I want. Ooh, I don't want to do something silly. Uh, I don't think Bianca fights me right away. Uh, what I want to do is go all the way to the back of the city and get an item before I end off the episode. I'm going to explore all of the city next episode, like I said, but I want to get this item um, so I can fight trainers with Moonstone without actually having to... Um, come back here first, if that makes sense. So if you come in this building, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I think it's this guy. Talk to this guy. Hello. Pokemon Fanatic. Look at your Pokedex. How many Pokemon you found so far? 28. And he will give me an Eviolite. I'm not sure how many Pokemon it is. It might be 25. But you have to have a certain amount of Pokemon. And he'll give you an Eviolite that boosts special defense and defense by 50% of a Pokemon that has not evolved yet. And Moonstone works uh umber would work too shamrock sky all those that it work on but um who still has the evolution left i know i just gave him the gave him the quick claw but i called it a guy for once yes but evie light's gonna be a lot better because we're gonna be having moonstone as a muna for a long time should he not die so oh uh, yeah with that being said if you guys enjoyed this episode a like is appreciated it helps a lot out a lot it really means the world to me when you guys like the videos uh, and comment below and tell me what you thought of it and just a whole bunch of things. I love to hear from you guys. It's so much fun. I didn't mean to buy too fresh water there. I'm trying to buy lemonade. But yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, the like is appreciated. Helps out a lot. And if you want to see more Pokemon Weblocks, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to buy myself some lemonade and soda pop. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.